Right, it's just a little video. If you were in any doubt as to whether or not these rod system was suitable for your build, this rod has thrown uh, this rod, not this rod. This garden room has thrown a lot of challenges to us. So basically, this is the front elevation. This is where the doors are coming. So this will be the entry point to the garden room. So she's already got a patio down there. So this is. That's the optimum height really, and that being there is the closest point, the highest point of land adjacent to the building. So that will be where we'll take our 2.5 from. Now the rod system is absolutely fine, it works great there. Although the dig was hard, um, John dug it out, there's a lot of backfill in this ground. So we had the rods there, and then we had here, we had a concrete sectional garage on here. Now whoever built the concrete sectional garage has done it correct in the past. Um, you can see the height difference between the land here next doors in here is approximately 700 so what they've done they've built um, a breeze block wall and then they've, they've shut the pad and they put a pad in i don't know if jen can see there can you see the thickness of that pad jen it's approximately eight inches which is near on 200 mil now that is sufficient to take the weight of this building more than sufficient and it's also got rebar in and if you don't know what rebar in it's just metal inside the concrete which helps to maintain its strength and make it stronger so what we did we went round with a drill we drilled a series of pilots hole and we made sure the concrete was the same depth all the way around which it was so what we did then we went round with a 28 mil drill bit and we drilled six five inch holes all the way around on the pad and then we chem, chem fixed the rods in so basically it's a chemical so we've we drilled a hole bigger than the rod we filled it with the chemical we've drove the rod in the chem, chemical goes hard and it bonds the rod to the concrete and then what we've done then we've put the um let's see, see a better one see this one better Jen. we've put the steel plate washer on top of the floor with the nut to stop it driving through the concrete although at eight inches it isn't going to drive through so the rod's got us standardly through the muck that's that's where we use them normally they've also worked on the concrete now ground screws would not have worked ground screw company would have sacked this job off and says it wasn't suitable so the rods worked in the concrete pad um, and then we had this issue somebody in the past has landscaped this lady's garden and while she's been away they've put all the rubbish under the decking that they've put so Obviously, when we took the decking up, we then realised there was a massive cavity here. If Jen jumps across to that side, jump across to that side, Jen. So, this cavity was filled with flags and rubble and stuff like that from the garden that the landscapers decided to save himself the money of a skip and dump there. So, we've had to clear that out. But then we had a problem then. We had a massive void and we needed to use the rods. So, what I did then, I ordered some longer rods. I ordered three metre rods. We cut them in half. So... You can see there, there is just over a metre sticking out the ground. So that means, can you see it, Jen? Yeah. So that means we've got half a metre of rod concreted in the ground. Um, so there you go. So they've, they've worked on the muck. They've worked on the concrete pad. Will you, sorry, will you just, it's starting to rain, isn't it? Just get, get any tools covered up in case it rains heavy. Um, so it's, it's worked on the mud, which is great. It always does, yeah. And it's worked in the concrete. You can see the thickness of the pad there. So we've drilled it, we've chem fixed them rods into there, and then we've got the longer rods and we've fixed them on there as well. So it's worked in every single situation. Now, the other option here was to build this garden room, dig out that soil, but that would mean then the garden room was lower than the land. So you'd have to dig further back so that you could actually access the building, or you could have built the pad up, um, which would again, would have mean a lot of concrete, a lot of shuttering. We'd have probably got another We'd have had another 10 inch of concrete on top of that. So the rod system worked um, perfectly, basically. And what I've also done and all, where's it gone? My bandsaw, where's it gone? It's all right. What I've done as well is I've finally invested, after giving a few of these away on the raffle, in one of these bandsaws. Um, it's a beast, although it is a little bit slow for my liking. There you go. No sparks and of course health and safety themes that we should be using something like that anyway. So that's Milwaukee band, so fantastic bit of kit. Now, basically what I wanted to explain to you was that the rods work in any situation whatsoever. We have not come across a situation yet, apart from the one last Christmas, where there was um how 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 low was that one, Jen? It was 
about a metre and a half, wasn't it, the fall on the land, so we used some big pipes filled with concrete. But there you go, that's the only time we haven't been able to use the rod. So ground screws, wouldn't have done this. You could have got a pad in, but you'd want another 10 inch concrete. Um, or you could have dug that out, but you'd have had to dig further out of there and set on this original pad. So there you go.